True. Agami Ate. Agami Ate, we're taking a forward balance break. And we're coming through his face, you following through. Now this is the same kind of turning action that we had in Shoman Ate. We're turning him 180 degrees on the point of contact as our body rotates, causing his body to rotate. This is a different rotation though because the shear comes out of the second hand contact. So if I do slow motion, push, 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 as this foot's moving, as my second foot starts to engage, wow, the second hand engages just above the elbow, and you wind up with the shearing action that causes it to rotate kind of sharply here. In order to follow that sharp rotation, I have to turn immediately. Whew, a very tight rotation to follow through directly to his face. Unbendable arm will actually kill this. If you stay strictly unbendable arm, you'll push yourself away from the whole body. Everything has to merge with his rotation in this. And so it sort of violates that rule. In order to get here cleanly, you let everything flex just enough so that you can turn in place and wind up in a nice position. So watch out for the tendency to push yourself out of it like that. That will tend to happen a lot, particularly if you're focused on the straight arm. Get the if you let them all just play right in here, you'll have a nice easy ride off that sharp rotation. Anything?